gentlemen, we have a build update. Check this out. Modern from parts. Hashtag smash. Really excited. Uh, Project Smash is really starting to come together now. Now that we've got the rat insert, we got some powder coating to do, but we, uh, I want to do a couple rides, get everything tuned in, including the clutch, etc., before we actually get a ride in. So, that's what we're up to today. We're getting into this guy. So, last ride we were out in the skag, and it was going about 7,000 RPM under load, and we want to be in the 74, 75, 7600 RPM under load. So we're going to lighten up the tips, lighten up the mid rope weights and the dogs and hopefully that will kind of dial everything in to where we should be for peak horsepower. So let's get to it. Whoop! To make adjustments on the STM 3RS and I believe it's the same with the 3P but you should check your manual. We need to remove this bolt and put the spreader tool in right here, number 35 compression tool. Remember, always read the manual, it's very really important. Uh, you don't want to mess anything up, especially on a clutch this expensive. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, this clutch has already been tuned uh, to a certain point by Lockhart's Odyssey down in Cortland. So they've already tuned this, they set it up with the 3545 Helix Gold Spring uh, for the primary and the secondary. So we're only making minor adjustments, just doing some fine tuning, trying to get the RPM up there. Any major tuning, you might want to check out somewhere else. So guys, if you don't have a uh, primary clutch holder, it's pretty simple. Just simple wood clamp on the uh, one of the arms here, whatever you want to call it. Uh, put it on there so that way I can actually loosen it off. Uh, make sure that you have rubber tips on it. You don't want to score your, your brand new billet clutch. Be very gentle with it. Um, I did have to use a pipe on that as well. She's in there pretty good. As per instructions, we have the spreader tool here. We pop her in and we thread it in about an inch. So we know that that's where we need to thread it into. All right, so we got a seven eighths wrench. Got to hold the bolt to get it started just to make sure that it doesn't actually thread in anymore. We got the one inch in and we're going to compress this down to get the dogs out. So to remove the dogs, you need a four mil Allen key in the top and an 11 millimeter socket on the bottom. Can't use a wrench, it won't fit in there. All right, the nuts off the back side. We're going to pull this bolt out nice and gentle. Pop the rent or the ratchet off. Biggest thing. Uh, hopefully she doesn't fall down and in. I guess if it does, no big deal. We'll pull it out with pliers. Okay, pair of needle nose pliers. Get a hold of her. Pull her on back. Dog's out. Let's take a look at the weights. See what we should remove and what we should uh, adjust. We got two in the tip, three in the mid and two large ones in the base. We're gonna remove one weight from the tip and one weight from the mid weight. According to the instructions here, every weight that you remove equals 100 RPM. So by the time we're done, we're gonna remove two, four, six. So we're gonna be 600 RPM more, which will put us right at peak horsepower, 75, 7600 RPM, 10 torques. She comes loose pretty easy. Pop this screw out here. We remove one weight. There she goes. Single weight on the tip. Screw. And a little bit of purple Loctite. Pop that screw back in. Be careful not to strip it. Don't over tighten it. Doesn't take much to hold these little weights on and make sure that they're centered as you're tightening them down. I always do it by hand at first. Quarter turn before she breaks, right boys? Boom. Uh, we'll cover a little bit more on that one. Just a smidge. There we go. I'm happy with that. So now what we're doing is the mid weight. It's on the opposite side of the dog. We're going to pull that screw out, remove one shim, and remember to keep track, we're doing two each. 
the purple splooge on there. And that's all it takes to adjust your primary. Put her back in drive there. Yep, I feel good about that. So that's one done, we got two more to do. So just as a second check, we're gonna look everything over. So we got one spacer in the tip, two in the middle, tungsten some weights on the bottom, one in the tip, two in the middle, two in the bottom, one in the tip, two in the middle, two in the bottom. Good. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six that we just removed. Should be 600 RPM. Put us right in peak horsepower under load. Let's get these back in the machine. Put them back in the same way they came out. Dog, bolt, in there. Probably gonna be a little over cautious too. I know that they're nylock wa uh, nuts, but we're gonna put a little splash of blue Loctite on there anyway, just to make sure that nothing backs out. You ever have a bolt back out on one of these primary clutches, it's gonna make a world of hurt. The dog's back in. Time to unspread the primary, which is just backing this nut off. Really, it's just doing everything the opposite way that you just did it. So time to put the primary bolt back in. I'm gonna jam her in there, hand tighten, make sure that everything isn't is good, not binding. You don't want to cross thread that. That is a very important bolt. So always hand tighten first. All right, gentlemen, we got the primary bolt back in. Now it's time to torque it. You always want to make sure that you know what the torque's back. Uh, use STM Supply number 13 bolt with lock washer. Uh, 10 millimeter hex head, we already got that. We're gonna torque the bolt to 80 foot pounds. Torque wrench, set her to 80. Already got the clamp on there. We're gonna adjust this torque wrench and torque her home. Come on, Nancy. There she is. Bang on 80, she clicked. Everybody's happy. Oh, moment of truth there, boys. Good news already. I really don't like these gloves. Hey, right. we're at our testing spot. You should see 7,600 RPM under load in low range, four by four. We don't have load here. Sorry, don't have a skeg wheel in my backyard, but we'll see where she's coming in at. Engagement is up a little bit higher when you first get on the throttle. No big deal. Might be good in some situations, might be bad. Because she really hits hard and, and pulls. Other than that, I'd say uh, STM 3RS primary. Double thumbs up. See you in the next one, boys. Woo!